This is a medium difficulty GMAT problem solving question. I'll classify this question as a 600 to 650 level question from the topic ratio proportion. Focus on the concept partnership. It's a word problem. Mary and Mike enter into a partnership by investing $700 and $300 respectively. At the end of one year, they divided their profits in such a way that one third of the profit, one third of the profit is divided equally for the efforts they have put into the business. And the remaining profit, which will be two thirds of the profit, is divided in the ratio of their investments. The ratio of their investments is 700 is to 300. If Mary received 800 more dollars than Mike, what was the profit made by the business in that year? Mary is receiving this $800 extra, not on account of this one third, is on account of the difference in how they distributed their two thirds of the profit. This was distributed in the ratio of their investment. This was divided equally. Let's draw a schematic for this, get around to understanding what has happened and then solve the question. Profit made, one third of the profit gets divided equally for their efforts. The profit, what goes for the effort component is one third. This part gets divided equally between Mary and Mike. So if Mary gets X dollars, Mike will also get the same X dollars. So on account of effort, what they have divided will be X plus X, which is equal to 2X dollars. This 2X dollars accounts for one third of the profit. So total profit is going to be three times this, which is equal to 6X dollars. So one third is 2X. The remaining profit is going to be two thirds of this value. 6X is the overall profit. 2X went towards effort. So the remaining 4X is going to be what they will divide for their investments. In what ratio are they dividing this 4x? They're dividing it in the ratio of their investments, which is 7 is to 3. So if Mary gets 7 parts, Mike will get 3 parts. Let's say the 7 parts is 7 Y dollars. So Mike will get 3 Y dollars. Together, what would they make for the component that is divided for the investment? That's going to be 7 Y plus 3 Y. Together, Mary plus Mike for investments, they're taking home 10 Y dollars which is nothing but this 4x dollars, which is what we stated this. The 4x that gets divided for the investment is equal to 10y. So the difference that Mary has got more than Mike is on account of the 7y minus 3y. Mary took home 7y for the investment. Mike took home 3y for his investments. So difference that Mary is taking home is equal to, the extra that she's taking home is equal to 4y dollars, which according to the question is equal to $800. If 4y equals 800, then y is equal to $200. We know this is 7y, this is 3y. So the investment component is totally equal to 10y. If y is $200, the 10y component is going to be equal to $2,000. So this part is equal to $2,000. $2,000 is two thirds of the profit. $2,000 that we have got is equal to two thirds of the profit. So how much is the profit? Cross multiply this, which is 2000 times three divided by two which is equal to $3,000. So profit made by the company or the business for the year is $3,000. Quickly summarize this last bit of the calculation in a printed form. The extra that Mary receives is $800, which is 7y minus 3y, which is equal to 4y. So y becomes 200. The total profit they've divided for the investment is equal to 10y. So that's equal to $2,000. $2,000 accounts for 4x. So x will be equal to $500 which means that the profit 6x is equal to $3,000. We did in the initial last slide in one way, in this slide a slightly different way, both working out to be the same. Choice E is the correct answer to the question. Before you leave, two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzko.in slash core. It's one of the most comprehensive online GMAT course. Get started with a free topic, statistics and averages, build momentum to your GMAT preparation. Subsequently pay up and unlock the remaining topics. Lastly, Subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash Vizaco and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for GMAT. You may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member-only perks that come with it and will help you boost your GMAT preparation.